So I just realized that I did not record my week 20 update. So I'm just gonna tack it on to um, the end of, or I guess the beginning of my day in the life video. So the slides after this, you'll see, I, I recorded a day in the life of just like eating food that's keto or low carb. Um, so you'll see that after this, but I wanted to make sure and record my week 20 update. I had not done that yet. Um, last week I was 255.8. This week I am 253.4. It was like a 1.5 pound loss, I believe. I'll make sure and put the stats below. Um, so yeah, I'm still doing really great. Still tracking everything in my fitness pal. There have been a couple of days this week where I haven't done it right away. So the day has kind of gotten away from me. So I have to go back and look in my accountability group text to see what I've eaten. Um, and so thankfully I'm still sending pictures of what I'm eating. That's really helping me um, when I am not, you know, posting right away in my fitness pal, I'm able to look back at those pictures and remind myself exactly what I had that day. So that's definitely very helpful. Um, and so I'm so grateful for that. Still no cheats, y'all. I am still rocking and rolling, still making really good choices. Um, I know the foods I can have and the foods I can't, and that's just the way it is. And um, not to say that I haven't been tempted a couple times this week. Um, summer's coming. We're gearing up for our camping trip that we take every summer with the boys. I'm nervous about that. Um, and so I am hoping and praying that I'm able to... Um, just, you know, knock it out of the park. I cannot believe it's been 20 weeks. 20 weeks straight. No cheats. I've stuck to plan. I have committed myself to this, and I'm so proud of myself for it. Um, losing these 20 pounds, I've definitely worked for every single ounce of it, and, um, you know, 100% of that has been nutrition choices and just making sure that I'm doing everything in my power to make the best choices possible. So, um, like I said, what you'll see in the next couple of slides is just like a day of eating. It was like lunch and dinner um, for today. But like I said, I didn't realize I hadn't recorded my week 20 update. And I wanted to make sure and do that, especially because I had a loss this week. So, super excited about that. Super excited about getting back down closer to 240. Hopefully, I can do that this week. I'm really trying to pay close attention to my calories. Um, there were definitely some days like last week that they were high again. Um, and I know that I'm not going to be able to lose weight if there is not a deficit. So I'm really tracking my calories this week, trying to make sure they are under at least 1,200. Um, I've been eating more than that recently. Um, and so I'm hoping that by doing that, it helps um, get the number down. So... Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'll have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I'm gonna do another day in the life of uh, keto or low carb. Um, and I just sat down to eat some lunch with baby Grayson. He just got up from his nap. And so I'm gonna show you real quick what I am having. It's really awesome wraps um, made with the lettuce. And I had uh, some shredded cheese. This is actually roast beef. And then um, some of that cilantro lime dressing. And then baby Grayson is over here. And he is eating peanut butter and waffles and mandarin oranges. Say hi. Hey. Grayson. Hi, say hi. Wave in. Hi. Good job. Clapping, clapping. Can you say bye bye? Do you want to go for a walk? You want to go outside? Oh, good stuff. You're so big. So big. So we just got back from our walk um, and I'm gonna have a little snack. It's not quite time for dinner yet. Um, and so I'm gonna take you over here and let you know what I'm having. I'm having a little bit of these pork rinds. So these pork rinds and then a little bit of uh, cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. Let me take you over here and show you what the bottle looks like. Um, it is this Bolt House Farms. Super delicious. It's really cilantro-y though. So if you're not a big fan of cilantro, 
So it's one gram for two tablespoons, um, 40 calories. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. Um, I've had it on the wraps before too. Um, like I said, just have my little bit of pork rinds with the dressing. For rounding out the day um, with some dinner, I just put Baby Grayson down for and uh, for for bedtime. Um, he just had some dinner. We just did bath time, so I was going to show y'all real quick what I'm about to eat. Um, my husband's been working like 16 hour days and so I made a bunch of dinner tonight to be able to pack up for him to take for his lunches. Um, so I'm going to show y'all real quick what I made tonight. Let me turn y'all around. So I made these um, baked veggies. It's zucchini, squash, bell pepper, and onion. And then there's a little bit of olive oil, ranch dressing mix, and then some salt and pepper and some cheddar cheese on top. And this is actually one of those bake in a bag pork loins that I talked about from Kroger. I've already got his lunch set over here. And then this is my bowl. Um, these pork loins are amazing, y'all. Like I cannot even, let me show y'all what they look like. Um, I have another one in the freezer. Like so good, like so good. Um, it is. So I've gotten several different kinds. But it's, this is the Italian one. This is the one I made tonight. Um, they also have the one that's like wrapped in bacon. Um, and then they also have another one. And you literally bake it in the bag. It takes like 45 minutes to cook. And it's seasoned perfectly. It's tender. It's moist. Um, definitely, definitely recommend these for sure. So, yeah, that's dinner tonight. I'm not going to eat anything else. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.